In this tutorial, we will learn how to integrate ADX2 in an Unreal project. Thanks to the Cryware Unreal plugin, it is very easy to use ADX2 in a game made with Unreal. First, we need to add the Cryware features to Unreal. Make sure that you are using Unreal version 4.10 or higher, and that you've downloaded the UE4 source code from GitHub. Then browse to the Cryware slash SDK slash UE4 slash engine subfolder of your Cryware SDK. Copy the entire engine subfolder and paste it in the C program files x86 Epic Games folder. Some files in the Unreal Engine folder will be overwritten. Finally, follow the instructions provided by Epic Games to rebuild the Unreal Editor. Great! We can now run the Unreal Editor, which includes the Cryware features. Before going further, Make sure you've watched our previous tutorial on how to build an audio project in AtomCraft. After having exported the QSheet binary files from AtomCraft, we need to import them into our Unreal project. First, create a subfolder in your project's content folder to store the ADX2 data files. Here we've created Cryware data in the content slash global folder. As you can see, we copied the ADX2 project binary files in this folder. We are now going to indicate the path to this subfolder to Unreal. Go to the Edit menu and choose Project Settings. Browse down to the Plugins section and select Cryware. Copy the path to the ADX2 binary files here and click on the Restart Now button. Finally, specify the name of the ACF and then restart the project again. The queues and the ACB files must now be converted into assets that can be used as sound sources in the Unreal Editor. To do that, select Import from the Content Browser. In the Import dialog window, select the ACB file you exported from AtomCraft. Great! All the queues from that queue sheet are now registered as Atom queues in the Content Browser. We can now place a sound source in the scene. To do so, Simply drag and drop an Atom queue from the Content Browser onto the Scene View. An Atom component is automatically created. The Atom component is located here in the World Outliner. If the Auto Activate checkbox is checked, the sound playback will begin when the scene is started. Now simply play your scene to hear your queue. This concludes our first tutorial on the integration of ADX2 in Unreal. In a later tutorial, we will talk about some more advanced features of the integration process.